Fellas, the I-Team is beat. Up all night with the Heisman Trophy case. Oh boy. Case. 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 Got it. Unintentional. I'm, I'm all loopy right now. The guys in the back are asleep now. I'm, I'm going to do this report and probably take a nap. Here is when we last saw the Heisman Trophy here. Um, I finally got a hold of Jeremy Swick, a nice gentleman at the College Football Hall of Fame. I asked him for some updates. And uh, he, he recapped the story. So we get, the, he, this is a quote. So we get the package, not sure what it was. We didn't even know the package was coming to us. He said they, were, they just, it was in the mail one day. Um, then I remembered he sent it to us and must be sending to them because they want to display it at the College Football Hall of Fame. And uh, once we received the package, it was completely locked with no key present, which, be which uh, begins a big problem when you're trying to open something, not having the key, as Jeremy <laughs> said. Um, I reached out to Carson and tell him we got the trophy, but we are locked out, so he loops you guys in, dot, 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 dot. Not much help, <coughs> period. The end of the story of the Heisman Trophy is in the next sentence. Fellows, we're gonna bet on this. How do you think the story ends? The Heisman was found safely inside the case. The Heisman was not in the case. And then a, a side prop bet. The key was found. The key was not found. Case had to be, air quote, open. So we get one of those options? You could bet on the first two and then uh, yeah. the second two. Oh, so you okay. could parlay it if you want. I was going to parlay one and four. Yeah, one and four yeah. seems to be the bet. Well, but if you bet two and three, you're, I mean, those, you're going to cash. Ma yeah. Ma major odds. I think I'm going to go one and three. I think the key emerged. Okay, wow. that's a value bet. Okay, yeah. you're gonna make some money on that. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna safer bet. Very yeah, safe. but you're, you make a couple bucks. All right, everyone's bets are in, yeah. and the answer is. To recap, our contact at the College Football Hall of Fame said, um, we called Carson and told him we got the box, but we didn't know how to open it. Can, do we have his permission to open it by all means necessary? Um, he looped us in, and according to the Hall of Fame, not much help there about us. Um, and here is a video of the result. Oh! The Heisman is in its rightful, temporarily. Boy, is that a relief! Is the Heisman guy have the right arms? There, we is oh. it, are we sure it's not a foe? Uh, Got to check fingers. That's yeah. Good point. What if okay. Facing, how did they get it open? What if he was facing the wrong way, or it was like gray? What does the case look like right now? Yeah. yeah. Like I don't Carson care about the case. Was spelled wrong. It was so, like C A R S E N. <laughs> they did say they were concerned because they said when they saw the box was there, but the key was on it, they were worried that it wouldn't be in there. So they actually video documented the opening of it, but we cannot have that video, unfortunately. Um, we ended up having quote. We ended up having our building guy unhinge the lock with Carson's approval, of course. It was adventure to say the least because he had to take the entire top of the box off and put it back together. Really? But he said that they were very pleased that it was in there because once it gets to their building, they felt they were responsible for it, even though we were responsible. Can I just say that they don't really seem to have it in the most secure place? I've walked around that Hall of Fame. Like, oh yeah, you can just walk Yeah, up. like it could put a case on it. Like, but if, yeah. let's say you grabbed it, I think I'll catch you. Do you think there's a guard watching? I, hope. I feel like running with the Heisman, like you're stealing it, and you have to run with yeah. it like this is going to be it's really going to slow you down. Yeah. Would you run this, or would you try to do this? I feel like this is <laughs> the be irony awkward. of running with the know. Heisman like this. Cover the ball. <laughs> no, you run like this, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. Keep you're not going to run very far with the Heisman. No. Yeah. That thing kind of is awkwardly wire. heavy. Some kind of electronic it device was. should be under that. It's not the Louvre. This is the College Football but, Hall of Fame. But if we're saying it's so easy just to take it it's, and walk out of the place. Not only is it the College Football Hall of Fame, it's the Chick-fil-A College Football That's Hall of right, Fame. That's right, it's a good point. And by the way, the Louvre, like, this whole thing has been a Dan Brown novel from day one. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we've been there before. This place is awesome. Totally. Yeah, if but you like old school. Imagine the guy's trip cutting the top of the case up and like and then the arm where the head comes up with the right. finger and it's just a portion of the but thing. But what, okay, what happens when they ship this back or you close up the case and find out next still don't have a key yes so when they ship it back to Carson we'll stay on the story and see how they do it and compare to how we did it yeah but we, there's no key but I, I think that box is now defunct um, I think you got to get a new one so why don't you just drive it back at this point we're going to deal with shipping from Atlanta to California yeah. first country if you care about it that